Hey, hello, hello, hello. My name is Rograt. Welcome back to Caves of Card. We are here with Beamer. We're here at Omen Porch. We're about to enter Ezra, and we're going to set up a little base there. It's going to be our main base of operations until we get to the Freehold. Um, however, we do have blurry vision right now, which is a precursor to getting monochrome. Monochrome is um, it's not that bad, all things considered, but it is kind of annoying. It completely sucks all of the color out of the game. Um, we can try and avoid this somewhat, and it's my own fault. I did even say last episode when we were fighting these guys, these Addy. Um, I hope we don't get monochrome. Um, and we did. So it's time that we kind of deal with this. I think the only real thing we can do for the time being is cook with some... Do we have honey? We do not have any honey. I, I, I must have sold it. We need um, yuck wheat and honey, really, to help stave off the effects. I don't know if we have any yuck wheat either. We do not. I will chop up a few of these luminous horseshoes here as well. Alright, well, let's um, see if we can grab any juicy lore whilst we're here. Now that we already have blurry vision, I guess we just have to deal with it. We'll take all of these guys out. It's a nice little chunk of XP, honestly. And the trees seem pretty chill with me. So, happy about that. Alright. We're about to meet the Earl of Omen Porch for the first time. Let's see what our actual rep with the Consortium of Fighter is. Because this will dictate... We're not even near this part of the quest yet. I'm just curious. It's a hundred. Okay. Let's look at the rep that the Earl has here. Loved by the consortium and flowers. Hated by newly sentient beings for tricking them into sharing their fresh water. And disliked by the dried lar petal folk. Okay. Nothing super interesting to learn here, right now anyway. But here we are. Ezra. What did we just pick up? We just picked up uh, a water skin full of honey, was that? Okay, we can see here that uh, Garrison Precinct Temu. Clear Sun, you... Okay, I think we read about that before, that particular relic. I think one of my aims today, other than maybe having to cure monochrome, will be to um, go grab that relic from the historic site in the jungle. I think that'll be a fun little quest. Just want to see what we picked up there. Okay, it was asphalt. Hmm. All right. Well, here we are. Let's take a look at the mayor first and foremost. Mayor had us loved by Ezra and trees hated by a random village that I don't care about. So you know what? Have some water, my friend. There we go. Do you have anything interesting to trade you or not? There's also a warden here who's a robot. We can hopefully do the water ritual with them as well. Um, admired by Snapjaws for telling bawdy jokes. Also got the uh, Eater's Crest, which is really cool. You may have some of my water. We're now favoured by the village. The Svardim hate us, that's absolutely fine. I don't particularly like them either. We're actually very close to having this guy as a follower if we wanted to. I'm not sure I do. Okay, so we go over here. We have a couple. We have this guy here, Zotham the Penitent. We don't really need to speak to them right now. They do have a unique item, uh, a unique sword, which is really cool. We have um, Ela here, who is a, a daughter of exile. Hated by insects, hated by goat folk. Um, I'm not really interested in doing the water ritual, but she does sell cybernetics. So, let's take a look here. They also have a uh, the credit wedge, which is an absolute must-buy. Let's get this stuff ID'd. There's the recoiler. I'm gonna spend all of my um 
all of my water here in getting this stuff ID'd just so once we do it, it will stay ID'd forever and we never have to do it again. Uh, that was a schema soft, I think, or it was the carbide chef skill soft. Wh whatever it was, I'm not interested. That's custom visage. Let's take a look at that. 300 rep with a faction you choose at installation time. I'm pretty sure we'd already seen that, but apparently not. We must have seen it when we were Ishan. Rest in peace. Stabilizer arm locks. We already know what those do. Those give us uh, six extra points of agility when it comes to ranged attacks. Pretty good. <clears throat> yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we've been looking for. Precision for slave. Costs four points to install. Oh, I'm so glad that we found this. This is huge. I, I, I don't want to, like, overstate it, but this is genuinely huge. So, a magnetically shielded headstock holds space in kinetic suspension while a force spindle spins and sharpens it to a point. Basically, you shoot daggers out of your hands. Couple this with the other cybernetic that we have, and we can basically dual wield daggers. So, you fabricate force knives in an unoccupied hand or a thrown weapon slot. If you throw a force knife, another one immediately materializes in your thrown weapon slot. They deal 1d8 damage, have penetration value equal to their target's armor value, and plus 6 throne range. So the penetration value is equal to the target's armor. So basically, this is like having a um, like a vibro weapon, essentially. They disappear after losing contact or becoming unequipped. Uh, if you have a force modulator implant, force knives can be thrown through force fields. Incredible. Hot diggity damn. You might say. Um, let me make some cash back here. Oh wait, let me yeah, let me buy this stuff as I'm gonna sell these. These are worth six hundred. I don't want any of this. Although the the owner stimulators we could disassemble for the number three bit. I think I'm fine right now. We'll grab some extra water here because we have a couple more things I want to identify. Medicist, this is great. This makes all of your um, injectors last longer. Um, can be really useful. Actually, no, this one isn't the one. This is a uh, reduces the action cost. Okay. I've actually never used that. I was thinking of the other thing, which whose name I forget right now. Uh, grounding shunts. Okay, electrical resist. I believe. Yeah, fifty electrical resist. All right, cool. Um. Dude, I'm super happy with that. So we now have... Oh wait, no, we didn't buy the Precision Force Slave, did we? We bought the Credit Wedge. Alright, let's grab that now then. And I think this is going to be our priority right now, is to get that ID'd. Hold on, before I buy that, let me just ID whatever this is that we're holding... Okay. I mean, it's not as good as this, but that's nice to have. A freezing folded carbide battle axe. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I've been wanting to do this build for a while, and I just haven't come across it. So, why is my force brace... Did we just pick up an additional force bracelet? We did. That's awesome. We have a, a backup. Not that we really need one, but we'll keep it on us. Um, okay, I bought those last time. I'm going to get rid of the combustion cells and a couple of these chem cells. We're also going to grab, get rid of the sower seed, floating glow sphere, and then grab this. Um, do we want 100 grams extra of water? Eh, not really. And then we'll just give you, uh, I don't know, a couple daggers for some overflow. Alright, that's amazing. We have the recoiler, we have a precision force lathe. Let's um, also ID whatever this energy cell is right here. Thermoelectric. Okay. We're going to put a... Um, we have 
way too many of these. We're going to put a solar cell in that one. And the Ezra recoiler, we will put... I'll just put a regular chem cell in there for now. Actually, no, I'm going to take the... Sorry, this is kind of tedious. I'm, going to t I'm not going to be going back to Anna anytime soon. We'll put this solar cell in there. Okay, lastly, we we speak to uh, Sigtru. This is our first decent um, trader that we've um, come across. Bunch of stuff here. We don't quite know what most of it is. I will take the fermented yonder cane, I think. And we have herberies. Finally, we have herbery. So I want to buy out all of those. And we'll get rid of the witchwood bark. It's 1200 right now. Uh, you also have a crystal dagger. Does a lot more damage. Uh, that's very tempting. Tell you what, let me get rid of everything here that I won't be using. As well as the carbine. We could maybe swap out the carbine. Very low accuracy though. Doesn't really matter too much because we're going to be using the precision... Force Slave uh, as soon as possible. Don't need the basic toolkit anymore. We picked up Polyhedral Rings. Okay, I did not see that. Let's get rid of that and that. And then we're basically there. Pretty good deal, I'd say. Thanks. All right, awesome. We now have 12 herberies. We have some proper healing for once. All right, I think it's time we got out of Ezra. Now that we have everything we need. I would quite like to head to Gritgate, which is where we have, I think, the rest of our cybernetics. Just gonna chuck everything in here for now. And we're gonna have to figure out how to uh, install this. We're gonna have to uninstall some stuff. I think we can upgrade our license once. Yeah, one time. All right, so let's just figure this out. For the precision force slave, we need four points. For the grafted mirror arm, which gives us an extra thrown weapon slot. Um, we need five points. Okay, so we need nine points. We're going to have to uninstall some stuff here. Starting with, I think, the nav system. Let's also uninstall the fire suppression system. Okay, we're still going to... I think we're going to have to uninstall Pentacepts, which is unfortunate because these are really useful. Or we do the onboard recoiler. I think actually it might be better to do the onboard recoiler. That's four points. The night vision, not even on the table. We may have to actually uninstall everything. Yeah, I think we do. Right, eat the uh, recoiler... And the Pentaceps. Right, we're going to go heavy into this build now. Right, we're going to install. Firstly, the precision. I will say that word properly. There we go. Force Lathe is now installed. Actually, you know what? Where did... I installed that in the head, right? No, in the body. Okay, that's fine. Now we install... The grafted mirror arm. We'll put this on our left arm. Lefty superiority, as always. Alright, let's just take a look here. We now have two, two thrown weapon slots. Um, let's remove that. So, how do we actually equip? Do we have to wait for it to boot up, maybe? Uh, 
or thrown weapon slots. Okay. Unoccupied. If you have a... Let's see, where is it? Force knives disappear after losing contact with you or becoming unequipped. Okay. Why am I not getting the option to throw force knives? Let me go downstairs here and just test this out on some enemies. See if it appears once we're like in combat. Ah. Hold on. That's a little concerning. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into this uh, just a moment. I think. Uh, see if we can get this working. Okay, I figured it out. You have to go into your ability menu, and you'll see fabricate force knife. I've um I've bound it to my uh one of my mouse keys actually. I wonder if I can use that again. This is cool. This is really cool. Let's uh let's just take a look at these. The force knife. Yeah. It's like a vibro weapon, um, a length of raw space was kineticized and sharpened to a point. Friggin' sick, dude. Let's get throwing. We throw both at the same time and it automatically recharges. Oh my god. That's some decent damage. some really decent damage um the fact that we can also throw this through a uh, force fill if we install the uh how far is my charge now it's not quite as far we do have a couple points left by the way i do recommend once you get to um to grit gate exploring down here you can get really lucky and find some crazy loot. I, I'll maybe do this one floor just to see if we find anything good. Okay, we definitely should invest in death throwing next time we level up. It's going to help us out a lot. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I guess we'll just take that because there's nothing here particularly but you, b believe me you can find stuff all right cool well I'm glad that that's that's done I think we have um two points left I believe we have one point left I wonder if there's anything worth installing do we even have a one point we have nav system I guess there's no reason to not I, I would love the palladium electro deposits, but we'll um we'll install the nav system, I guess in our hands. There we go. Okay, that's so good. Anyway, we still have to get geared up for Bethesda Sousa. I'm gonna check out um any potential new recipes here that we we might want to invest in for our tinkering. I need, I'm looking for mods. I don't care about this stuff. I'm looking for actual, like, mods. Uh, there are two number four bits, which are definitely worth buying. Uh, what do I want to get rid of here? I think we may just have to get rid of this, um, force bracelet. We've already got one, so don't need a second one. Okay. Let's see if we can do any modding. Now that we have some number fours. Flaming. Can't quite do anything there. We can make our masterwork electro bow uh, scoped as well. I think that might be worth doing. Anything else? No, just a bunch of willowy stuff. Why not? Why not do this? Masterwork and scoped. Not bad. Okay. 
So, by the way, we still have blurry vision. I don't think sleeping in the hyperbiotic bed helps with blurry vision. It only helps with fungal infections. Actually, with that said... Okay, just as a precaution, if we do end up getting monochrome, we are going to need to get ourselves a flashbang grenade. That is like the most important thing. So let's speak with Mafeo just on the off chance that they have anything like that. They do not. Okay, fair. This is why it's always worth holding on to a flashbang grenade if you find one. There is still a chance we can shake it off. I think I should probably eat the um, the meal that they have here. The porridge. Saves against disease. See? Pretty good. We really need harvestry as well at some point. But let's uh, let's get back to it, shall we? I think I think we're gonna go to the historic site. So let's jump to Ezra. Hello, it's me again. This time with cool knives that I can throw from my hands. Okay. You feel a bit better. That's a good thing. That means we that particular time we made the save against I think every day you basically have to make a save against getting uh monochrome okay well never mind also that was a new achievement i haven't had monochrome since they released the new achievement so that's great that means say goodbye to color as we watch it fade away welcome to the new caves of cut experience everything is black and white um this is not good at all i th I think I might want to just pop to the still and check any grenadiers to see if they have... We also need to check the corpus, actually. So let's do that together. Please don't get lost. Why do I even say anything, dude? Okay, don't get... Please don't get dismembered. Alright, we're good. Just don't go near the water, for the love of God. I can't tell if you're... You can't even use uh, alt now to see if these guys are aggressive or not. They are, by the way. I think the Force Lathe is best against, like, weak enemies. Stay the hell away from me, you creep. Nothing scares me quite like a mad pole. Oh, that was close. Yeah, we got to be real careful here. Did I piss off a dragonfly? No, you're cool. Um, let's follow this path. Thank you, thank you. All right. There's a village here, apparently. The village of Hattam. Hello. Okay, well, you know what? This, this is cool. Uh, there's probably a, a mission that we could pick up here. I don't think I'm going to, but... Now, you don't have a trader. You do have a warden who is also a cherub. That's pretty sick. Um, I can't rebuke you, though, can I? No. Alright, well, um... Let's speak to the legendaries they have here. Let's see. Loved by mollusks? Why not? We're now disliked instead of hated by mollusks. That's something. You have any trade goods? You have an engraved locker, which is weird. Uh, let's speak to the Tinker. EMP marked. Okay, we need to speak to all of these guys um, that may have the ability to sell us a flashbang. Hmm. Alright, what do we sell you? Take my thermoelectric cell. You're welcome. Goodbye. Have a, have a lovely day. D 
Do you have a uh, anything I can? No. All right. Um. Yes. All right. Come on. Yes, I will check out the ruins. How do you guys think the game looks, black and white? I mean, it's a really cool effect. The fact that the UI stays uh, color as well is, is even nicer. Engraved. Now, I know for a fact we have at least one piece of Resha floor that we can hand in. So we are able to probably level up. So let's do that immediately, because I definitely want to grab um, Deft Throwing. There's level 24, plus one to each attribute. That's a huge get for us. Let's take a look. Alright, we got 239 points. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, we almost finished the axe tree. Uh, I do want some of this. I'm not interested in Kajul. I'm not interested in that. We finished that tree. Intimidate and Beret are both very, very good. Beret is uh, one I really enjoy. I like Meditate. We could... Ooh. Rejoinder would be really nice. We're just short of being able to to buy it. I think I might get death throwing and then save for rejoinder. There's a 40% chance to make a free attack with a short blade if an enemy misses. Eventually having shank will be great as well. In three levels from now we can get this. They get plus you get plus two penetration rolls for each negative status effect. It's pretty sick. How far are we? We're also very close to getting Tinker 2. Tinker 2 has one of my favourite modifiers, which is radio powered. So let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's grab, um, Death Throwing for now. This cuts our, uh, throwing variants in half. And then we're gonna save for Rejoinder. We're gonna finish some of these short blade, uh, skills. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take a look around here. And see if I can find anybody selling a flashbang. Keep our fingers crossed. Alright, I'm back a little sooner than expected because... Look what this guy has. Schrodinger page. From the Annals of Cud here. Unspecified. This is the best possible one you can get. It's fairly expensive at 357 drams. I think we can just about afford it. We do have a bunch of stuff in a chest that we can get rid of. But I think we can maybe just about cobble together enough to buy this right now. Uh, let's have a look. We do have these. Yeah, we absolutely can. Keep the shade oil. And we'll keep the carbine for now. Alright, I'm going to continue looking. Alright, so I'm speaking to a grenadier here. They have a bunch of um, grenades that we haven't seen before. Now, as far as I know, we have not come across a flashbang. So, I want to buy one of each. Just on the off chance that one of them may be... Please, please, please. One of them may be a flashbang grenade. Let's take a look here, shall we? Alright, grenade number one. Sleep gas mark three. Okay. Grenade number two. Stun gas mark two. Grenade number three. Stasis mark two. And grenade number four. Ah, resonance mark one. Alright, I'm gonna get back to it. Wish me luck. Okay. I can't believe it. Um... I think one of here that there's this is the map with the two schematics drafter. The first one didn't have anything. This guy literally Look at what we have. Please tell me it's a level one. It should be a level one. Oh my god, I already know the recipe. That's so embarrassing. Oh that's so embarrassing. I, I can only 
<laughs> I can only apologize to people who were like, dude, literally last episode, you learned how to craft this. Oh, also I bought a uh, recipe uh, Two-Faced because if you're doing multi-weapon fighting, Two-Faced is incredible. It goes on your headpiece, gives you two face slots, meaning we can equip two of these iridescent fangs, um, which both have 65% chance to, to proc. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. I should have remembered that we already had that. However, you know what? You don't watch me for high level gameplay. You watch me... I actually don't know why. But um, <laughs> thank you anyway. Um, I'm just checking these guys to see if there's any... We haven't seen a single drop of nectar so far on this playthrough. Makes me a little bit sad. EMP flashbang. Okay, so we would have been safe either way here. There's a flashbang mark two. We only need mark one, I believe. Um, we just now need to read the corpus and see. I believe for monochrome, you just need one liquid. And I'll show you. Even if you sell a book to Sheba up here, you just speak with them. And you go into the trade tab. Then you find the, the corpus, for example. Here we go. And you click it and you can press B to read it. So let's take a look here. Iron shank, monochrome. Um, we need one dram of cider. And then we detonate the flashbang. I think we may... Do we have cider on us? I know we were collecting it. We we have wine. Okay, cider should not be hard to come by. Let's go find us some cider. Let's speak with the chef or the icor merchant. And by chef I mean kipper. Boom. One dram of cider. Perfect amount. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to go down here so I don't disturb anyone. Drink. Mmm. Okay, and now let's detonate this flashbang. Which we haven't made yet. God, I'm... Please tell me I have what it takes to craft this flashbang. Of course I do. Okay... Let's detonate. Bing bong. Hey, there's another achievement there. Cure monochrome. You are cured. Ah, oh, sweet color. Returning to my vision. My cones. Wait, is it rods or cones? That are color. Who cares? Anyway, our eyes are back in business, baby. We can see again. Alright, now that whole friggin malarkey is dealt with we're looking good we definitely could do with some nicer we should learn this now as well could do with some nicer armor that's for sure gonna have to pop back and forth between ezra and here um do we have what it takes to make this two-faced we actually do if we find another set of um gnashes aka gershling fangs we'll um we'll do that but now we'll we won't worry about it okay now, I did say I wanted to go to this historic site. That is what we will do. And I'm gonna... Ooh, yes. We need to find as many layers as possible. Ooh, legendary goat float clip off. That's actually quite scary. I thought the clip offs only appeared in... In, um, in the deep jungle. This is a lot of boys here. Oh my lord, who are you? Alright, we need to deal with you right now. Bleeding, bleeding. For you. Alright, badly wounded. They're about to croak. They've got an obscene amount of bleeds on them. They'll probably bleed out on their own, but let's finish the job here. 
Now favoured by Jaya Whites. You're welcome. Did you drop anything, by the way? Because we're probably going to get bombed by a, a goat folk sower in a moment. You dropped your feet. Um, and there's also a pair of night vision goggles. We'll grab those in a sec. Okay. We have shade oil. As usual, we do get sidetracked in Caves of Card. I think that's one of the best things about this game, though. It's it's fun to get sidetracked. We'll grab that silver ronja. We'll grab the night vision gogs. Give me that. Let's try and get a little heal in before anybody else approaches. Um, let's just kind of cling to this. Yep, that 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 is uh. That's not good. That's a freezing mist. Somebody has a a freeze ray. It looks like, or actually, they probably just have a yeah the cryokinesis or or not cryokinesis. Sorry, freezing ray. Okay, I am confused. I believe. Yeah, I still know where this loser is, which is right there. Okay, I'm getting sewn. Let me take a step back. Let this guy come to me. Shoot these little bats whilst we wait. There you are, you fool. You shouldn't have come here. Keep shooting the bats. Right, hold. More bats. You know what? Happy to kill them. Okay, somebody's putting turrets down. I will kill this livid creeper. Alright. What did you drop? Flaming carbide. Okay, curious as to what this might be. Lead acid, okay. You know what? Um, we're going to explore. We. I'm going to be honest, probably not going to get around to the historic site today. It's going to be the focus of next episode. What we will do, though, before we go, is clear this map. Okay, you stole some of my charge, you piece of jerk. New insult just dropped, by the way. You piece of jerk. Um... We're going to clear this, and then we're going to clear the map north of us. Okay, there's lots, lots of trade goods there. Flexi vest, topaz, honestly, yeah, great chest. You see, this is why I love exploring in this game. Occasionally you just get these really good spawns. You're not flying. Why are you not flying? What's wrong with you? Okay, I know you didn't mean to shoot me there, so I will forgive you, but don't do it again. There's also a stairway down here, which has me kind of curious. Okay. Just more free money, I guess. What what boots are we currently wearing? We're wearing steel boots. I believe these may be better. They are, but we do lose a bit of dodge value. Um, I do want to maintain some dodge if we're going to grab Rejoinder. Let's just... Yeah, let me peek. Curious, honestly, but I think for now, let's go clear this uh, legendary goat float, goat float, goat folk clipper. He blew me off the map. Just, just these pesky sewers, you know. You got to watch out for. All right, there's a horn blower. Get charged. I would love to install pentacepts again as asaply as possible all right let's not get double teamed by sewers here let's let them come to us hopefully there we go smell you later and that's why i came back here to clear this map because we know we can fall back here now without running into anything wow that was lucky 
So it was just stood there apparently. Right, there's another horn blower blowing his horn. Doot doot. Come down here, please. Come on, come closer. There we go. You never should have come closer, you fool. Alright, we just picked up a brand new artifact. What do we have? A gaslight chisel. Okay, also pretty good. Like, let me put a uh, M cell in this. It's a short blade, 9 pen, 1d6. I think it's about the same. No, it's slightly less damage. Would have been great earlier on. Okay, got to be careful with these auto explorers here because we do not want to get um, sundered or grenaded. See, there's a there's a sower right there who's about to lob a filthy amount of grenades at me. There's two of them. This is where you go sprint and you go you. Just, I don't want to... Where the hell did you come from? Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want that to happen. We good? Where's the... Where's the... Oh my god! Stop, 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 stop. Wait here. There's one. There's two. I think there's one more. Let me hold here and heal. No, that's all of them. Alright, good. Going down here is actually pretty risky. We could get seriously shafted. Um, especially if there's a, a Sundermind loser. I think it's it's worth it. Who knows what we might find. Well, we'll take out that beetle nest immediately. Okay, that's a freebie, I guess. If we get sundered, we... We pop our force bracelet, we try and recoil, I think. Or we try and get to the nearest stairway. I'm a little worried that I haven't seen anyone yet. Hello? Where, where is- where are you? There's nobody here. What? What kind of uh... This is a trap, dude. This feels like a trap. This feels like a big trap. Okay, you having a little trouble building the zone there, bud? Come on, you got this. You've got this. Alright, the zone wasn't building properly there, so I had to... I got that pop-up. I don't see that very often, luckily. Portable beehive there. Okay. That's what... You want to avoid those sewers in these long corridors. That's very, very bad for my health. Now the door is broken. So... Okay, the sewer is attacking something else. I'm not going to get involved. Alright, there's some snap jaw here. Interesting. Good, good, good. Let them come through the, the hallway. Perfect. Thanks for all the owner stimulators, by the way. I appreciate it. Alright, flaming. Let me heal, let me heal. We are hungry again. That's going to be a grenade launcher. Alright, somebody's used a force wall. And that guy ended up blowing themselves up as a result. That's hilarious. Yeah, we have a shaman here. Luckily, we are next to a stairway. So if they have Sunder Mind, we can just hop down. Let them come to us. Oh, that was a mimic. 
They were fighting a mimic. Get dismembered. Another shaman on their way, I think. Yeah, there we go. And another shaman. We are very much holding the line here. We're even getting some fire attacks. How is our, um... Still full. Great. How, our owner stimulators, fresh. Not bad. Step here, let them come to us. Shoot your friend in the back. What did you drop? Nulling coal. Oh, okay. We'll grab that, sure. Anybody else coming around the corner? No? Alright. Let's see what we have in this pile of loot. Anything worth taking? We'll grab those automatically. Uh, no. Absolutely nothing worth taking. We do have another gaslight flicer. Is it flicer or flisser? Let me know. Honestly, I'm going to treat them as scrap. The number four bits are, are very valuable. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Get dismembered. Get flurried. Oh, okay. Heal me up. Grab the loot. Can I get a charge down there? No. Can now though. Alright. I suspect the the legendary will be on the next layer here. So, I'm going to leave you on a little cliffhanger. I'm going to uh, end here. When we come back, we're going to finish this place. Hopefully, make it out alive. Level up. And get rejoinder. And then we're going to head to the historic site. And then we're probably going to start Bethesda Sousa after that. Just so you know what's coming up. My name has been Rograt. You've been watching Caves of Cud. Subscribe for more. And as always... Take it easy.